Well, this extreme heat can be a concern as kids across the valley go back to school. But as Team 12's Trisha Hendricks explains, a school leaders and parents are taking precautions to keep students safe. Kids are back in class in Tempe today, and let's face it, it is extremely hot in the middle of an excessive heat warning, but administrators are prepared. That's first and foremost is our concerns about safety for our children and our staff. Carmonati Elementary School principal Wendy Reek explains how they adjust on campus. Indoor activities, brain gym kinds of activities, you know, hula hoops and, and uh, different kinds of equipment. To lessen the impact of the extreme heat, some schools districts like Tempe Elementary are exercising their modified recess plan and they'll have their lunch and indoor. So as students load up their backpacks with all the essential school supplies, keep in mind the basics. A water bottle is one of the most important things they can pack for their school day. Right here. So that's an essential, right, Mom? Mm -hmm. Yes, it is. Say, I'm excited for school. I am excited for school. It's very hot. It's very <laughs> hot, it is. It's always a good idea to stay in the cool AC, drink plenty of water more than usual, and avoid dehydrating sugary or caffeinated drinks. Our wonderful facilities department keeps our, air, our rooms very air conditioned. Small children have a higher vulnerability to heat, so parents and teachers need to look out for the signs and symptoms of heat-related illness. Early signs include thirst and muscle cramps. The most serious illness is heat stroke, which can be deadly. As long as parents are keeping safety at the top of their minds, they'll ensure their kids get a cool start back to school. Lots and lots of water, yeah. Yeah, I'm excited. We're not going to overheat. It's still to be determined just when that modified recess will be lifted, but in the meantime, you can count on your kids staying cool. In Tempe, Trisha Hendricks, 12 News.